Taurus, welcome to Illuminated Tarot. My name is Jenna. Today I'm here to do your reading for the month of February 2024. It's that time, monthly reading. Big readings that are coming through so far. We're going to take a look at your overall general energy today, what you may not see coming, and get some important advice from Spirit. Thank you for tuning in today, for sharing this space with me. It's a pleasure and an honor to read for you. Let's see what Spirit has to say today, okay? We're going to jump right in with some Oracle messages. What is your spirit animal guidance? And once again, thank you, Spirit, for presiding over this message. Bringing forth the best possible information for Taurus today. All right. What is your spirit? That was a fail. That was a fail. Let's see if I can do better. <laughs> Ooh, here we go. Okay. All kidding aside. Let's do this. Spirit animal. Ooh, spirit animal wants to come flying into your life here. Ooh, armadillo protection. Armadillo. You are entering a phase where in order for you to be in alignment with your intentions and co-create your best life, you may have to be discerning and say no to many things that have been holding you back in the past. Ooh, okay. That's very clear. Spirit is stepping in and saying, we are here to protect you. Something's been holding you back, Taurus. All right, what is your angel number guidance for the month ahead of February? We're not going to do it that bad. <laughs> uh, sorry, I'm not flashy over here with my shuffling. Ooh, 1144. Ooh, that's solid. High vibes. Love or other happiness lurks just around the corner. It would be something much better than in your wildest dreams. A rare opportunity, an exciting encounter with like-minded people will exceed your expectations. Keywords for the month. Divine intervention. Why isn't it? There we go. Prosperity, big ventures, faded events, faith, purpose, higher calling. Wow. Faded events. Sounds like you've got some big shifts going on. Like I said, this is a very pivotal month. January was a lot of upheaval. This month, things are calming down, I'm seeing in the collective. Um, but a lot of choice points, decision points around contracts, around our future, around our ideals. Let's see what the tarot has to say, shall we? All right. Here we go. We're going to step right into the current energies. Get a read on those first. One more shuffle. I shuffle a lot. Just saw the Magician and the Six of Cups. Some of you are calling in a new soul contract. New soul contract. Someone who's going to be generous with you. Right? Don't we all want that? Someone that can give generously. Okay, here we go. Taurus. I'm feeling a lot of positivity coming off of you. You know where you're going. You know where you're headed. You know what you want. You know what you seek. Let's see. Whoa. Okay. Wow. Those three. We'll say this is first card that I saw. Ooh, death, rebirth. You're going through a transformation. Currently going through a transformation, opening up into a new beginning. All right. Ooh, decisions, decisions, huh? Two of Pentacles, weighing pros and cons, this way or that way. See, recent past, two of cups. Ooh, calling in love. Calling in mutual love. Okay, okay. Ooh, opportunities, the sun. I'm feeling good vibes here. Good vibes. You call in yourself some love. Near future, king of swords, trying to be a little more logical, are we? Overall general energy for the month. Ooh, the wheel is turning. Change. Faded change. Ooh, no wonder. Ooh, what you don't see coming, the lovers. Okay. I'm seeing new love here. Happiness. Uh, some decisions need to be made here. Some discernment. All right. Let's see. Let's go a little deeper here. Is this looking good? Vibing good. Hmm. Going through a big shift. Started off with death rebirth. Maybe you had to go through a recent ending. I don't know how recent though, because you were ready. You got all the hope and faith in the world. It's like you've transformed. Let's see. Let's go straight into the current energies here with the death. Rebirth. Transformation. Ooh, maybe not. Three of swords. 
Page of Swords. A high Priestess. You might, you might, you're being guided right now overall, no matter what the circumstances you find yourself in. Spirit is guiding you to learn from some heartbreak. And perhaps some of you have already been learning and now you're ready to open up, have a lot of hope and faith in the future. You've learned from pain, okay? And haven't we all, dear Lord. Every light worker on this planet is <laughs> just like, what is it? Hand to the face emoji. <laughs> it's like, do we have to go through any more spirit? How about, when are we going to stop learning? Can it just get a little easier now, please? Yeah, I'm feeling it. About, I'm feeling it, y'all. Even personally, I think everybody's just like, okay, all right. Let's just <laughs> make better choices. <laughs> better life choices. You know what? Sometimes pain is, un is unavoidable, okay? It's an unavoidable reality that we live in a world where pain happens in the heart, okay? I think you're learning a lot from it. You're growing from it. You're becoming more wise because of it, okay? But it's not going to keep you from still having hope and faith. And I love that. I love that. I feel that. Yes, you're being guided to shine. You wave that You wave that beauty within you, right? I think you've been waiting on a new opportunity to open up. A lot of you have been just pausing, resting, recuperating after an ending, working on your own transformation, working on your own growth, doing the inner work, right? To work through the pain. And now you're sitting here, you've been waiting, you've been patient, you've been waiting for maybe a new opportunity to come your way. You're doing all the right things, right? You're like, I have all the strength in the world. I've got a lot of courage. I know who I am. I know how to ride high. I know how to take care of myself, but I'm still waiting for an opportunity, y'all. And I'm ready to open up if it's the right situation, okay? I love that. You're getting a very, very, very strong vibe of I'm learning from past mistakes and I'm waiting on better opportunities. Bigger, better things, Taurus. I'm getting that. And you're, you really take great pride, I think, in, in your appearance and in and holding a higher vibration. I'm telling you, Spirit is saying you should be proud of where you find yourself this month. Okay? You should be proud of it. Okay? Not gloat. Proud. You know? That inner confidence is coming through. I think because you have overcome a painful cycle. All right, let's get the overall general energy now. I'm feeling like you are ready for some changes. Changes. Yeah, walking away. You have a deeper ideal around love. All right, so this change, all right, the overall energy of the month is you are walking away from hurt emotions, hurt feelings, the emotional fallout, right, around your heart. And you are learning so much from it. I mean, you're sitting in page energy, which is I'm learning what, what makes me feel alive, what makes me feel complete. You're getting very creative, I think, with what it takes for you to be more loving for self. This is self energy, all right? I think what's changed here is your attitude towards yourself and this willingness to keep cre keep creating from a heart space, right? Seeing your manifestations come to life. I do believe, Taurus, you're in a very magical period of your life because you're willing to turn your back on the things that you know aren't going to serve your inner creativity. They're not going to serve your, your big heart. You have a big heart space here. And you're like, you know what? I've gone through a lot of changes, Jenna, and... I still know how to stay centered and calm. I know that I'm a creator. I know that there are infinite possibilities out there. I'm getting such a like, you have like so much strength and it's because of your love. Like you love, you, I feel like I'm reading for people right now that are realizing how in love with life they are. But it, it's because you've made it through something enough to look back on it. Look at, she's looking back at, at the broken heart here. She's looking at the broken heart. I don't know if you can see that yet. She's looking at this broken heart. You've been looking at your broken heart, right? And you have actually done so much healing work. It has taught you wisdom. You've gone through this gorgeous transformation, Taurus. And it was through, through pain. It doesn't have to be love. It could be anyone that really hurt you in your heart. Like, ow. Someone hurt you, but you took that owl and you, you looked at it honestly in the face and said, what are you here to teach me? And you learned from it. 
And now you've grown stronger and more vibrant and more alive. Wow, I needed this, y'all, because your fellow earth signs, they need some love. They're going through a lot of shifts and changes. They're not where you are. <laughs> They're in the ow, all right? I feel like you're coming out of the ow, whatever the ow was. You are. You're really walking away from something that hurts you. Recognizing that you have all the self and the love in the world and all the creativity in the world and all the innocence of the world, yet still to create what you want. I'm sorry, I was yelling that. You made some necessary cuts, didn't you? Mm hmm you did. All right, moving along. Let's see what happened here in the recent past. Two of Cups, you had a loving connection or you were in love. I say were, I'm not sure if this is somebody new or the past person that caused you pain that you were triumphing over. Four of Wands, something that was stable. Ooh, that wants to come out. We're gonna take them, we're gonna do more. These did not want to go back in the deck. Oh boy. Four of Swords. I'm sorry. Four of Wands. This is over the Two of Cups, okay? This is your past. Nine of Swords. So you really were stressed out about a connection. You had a little bit of an ego battle. Five of Wands. And this is the card of the ego, okay? She's wrestling. You were wrestling with somebody's ego, all right? And then you actually said, you know, wait a minute. <laughs> Hold up. <laughs> do I want to continue to do this? Because this is causing me pain. And um, I'm being cheeky because I feel your energy. You're like, kind of like, you're not so mired in it that you're like, oh my God, this is devastating. You're more like, okay, I've been through that part of it. You know what I mean? Where I once was stressed the F out here. I once was in the war with somebody in a power struggle, in a conflict. And now you like, the two of wands is, especially with the two, you, I think you're, you're ready to move on. You're moving on. You have moved on. I feel like you've moved on from this energy. Because you're like, no love should stress me this much. No person. If it's a person, no person that I care about, okay? It could be a friend. Somebody in your life that you deeply cared about caused you a lot of stress, okay? And it could have been the two to tango kind of thing. But at any rate, it was someone that you had stability with at one time and then it became unstable. And I think now, ultimately... What you've learned from the past is how to let go and how to look forward, not backward. And that's what I love to see. You're looking forward, not backward. Ultimately, forward. She's studying the map. Where am I going to go next? All I know is I'm following my own inner happiness, my own inner light. Let your happiness guide you, okay? Where did I put my deck? <laughs> Sorry about that. Let your happiness guide you. Man, you've learned so much from um, some pain in your life. Let's go into your opportunity. What is your opportunity here of the month of February? To be happy. To let the sun shine on your face. Wherever you are in the world. I don't care if it's zero degrees. The sun does come out sometimes. Soak that sun up. The light, right? Follow the light. Queen of Swords. Discernment. Two of Cups. Page of Cups. I believe that some of you are calling in new love. This also could be the desire to, the stress of calling in new love and like welcoming a commitment. I think you've been doing a lot of thinking about what commitment means to you, what love means to you. And I do believe that you have an opportunity this month to actually open up. I am getting this vibe of, it's, you, you might have a love opportunity to come your way this month that is going to feel really, really good, but you might be feeling like, am I ready? Am I ready? I just got that, am I ready? Is it time? Don't overthink love, okay? Let it flow. Don't have expectations. Don't try to control it. The right kind of love flows easily, all right? And you feel good around this person. And you don't doubt. You don't overthink it. You don't question it. You just feel it. And Spirit's telling you just to feel it. I think you're opening up into a new love opportunity, and it feels really good. And they're saying, but keep your wisdom, keep your wits about you, Taurus. Keep your wits about you, okay? Enjoy it, but keep your wits about you. All right, Queen of Swords is there. Make sure you're evaluating it, right? Taking your time. Yep, this is the card of evaluation, right? Four of Cups, you don't want love to disappoint you again, right? Yeah. Some of you may want to know, am I going to work it out with this person? It's possible. 
It's possible. There could be an apology here too. And I think that's going to make you happy. And you've been really stressed out about a connection. I think that you may even be wanting to take a trip with this person. For those of you that are trying to work through a connection and there's been some recent pain and you're trying to learn from it, you're glowing up, all right? You're glowing up in a new phase with somebody, okay? Most of you, I believe this is new love. Others of you, it's a new chapter in love where this new chapter requires you to not overthink the connection, to stop fighting through your egos, to drop into the love and the commitment and put that first and learn from it and grow from it. Do the healing work that you need to do around it. But for the majority of you, I do believe this is about you opening up to somebody brand new. You just don't want it to disappoint you again, okay? And if you are dealing with an existing connection and someone's making their apologies, I think you're, you're happy about it. But also, there's still some lingering disappointment from the past pain, okay? Overall, I feel like this is a solid month for you in yourself, okay? Loving self, reigniting your creativity, not being so distracted by lack or how, how, how someone's showing up, okay? Focusing on yourself, Taurus. What's the two of pentacles here? Knight of Cups, the Empress, and the Ace of Swords. I'm telling you, new love. This is new love. Someone's bringing you love. They're like, I want to bring you a cup of coffee. Can I bring you a cup of coffee, Empress? Someone wants to nurture you, give to you. They see clearly, right? Maybe there was some confusion in the past. Maybe this was a relatively new connection and somebody started to overthink it and started to sabotage it. And then you started to go button heads. But now it's like, I surrender. Surrender to the love, okay? Let it flow, all right? Some of you are in a newer connection or you're calling in someone brand new. But there's been some recent pain and strife. If you already know this person, you're learning from it, okay? You're seeing the truth about the connection. Stop waffling. Someone's waffling. I don't know, I don't know. If they're showing up in a healthy way and it feels good and you're not getting a lot of red flags and you're going at a good pace, okay? I'm telling you, this person... Someone around you wants to nurture you, okay? It could be a water sign. They want to nurture you. Could be any sign, really. I'm seeing Scorpio, Leo, Gemini. It could be any sign. <sighs> More heavy water, okay? Could be air, too. I'm telling you, it could be any. I don't, people like to call out signs, but honestly, yeah. You may have been trapped in indecision. Hell, you could be deciding between two people. We got two of pentacles here. You could have multiple opportunities here and you're like, I don't know, which one do I pick? Pick the person that feels right to you and be discerning. But I think that overall the challenge is to really be clear, right? About your intentions, about what you want, need and deserve and allowing that to come in. I think you're trying to trust and the process is opening your heart again, despite the fear, okay? Eight of Swords is being trapped in fear, all right? Overthinking love, worrying about it too much. Taurus, just let go. Let go if it's the right person. We do see, I do see a match here. Two people kind of overthinking it, though. King and Queen of Swords. Don't take love too much into the mind. Love is meant to be shared and freely expressed. Ah, wow, I'm getting this really like, I haven't felt this energy in a long time. Wow. You know when you meet somebody and you're like, infinite possibilities, and you're, <laughs> of course I'm feeling that energy. Ten of Cups, it's like when you meet someone, you're just like, Jenna, I think I'm going to let myself fall in love. And that's what I mean. You're like, you're thinking, like, I think I'm going to let myself fall in love. Why don't you just let yourself fall in love? Don't think about it. Just let it happen. Let it flow. There is love here. It's beautiful. It's rich. It's full. It's gorgeous. Like I just felt like that butterfly feeling, right? Of when you meet somebody or when you, you have like you're vibing with somebody and they're like making you feel all good inside and you're just like, I can't wait to talk to them. We talk for hours on the phone. I can't wait to be near them. I can't wait for them to hold me. I feel so safe with them. Like, I'm getting that whole vibe of like, I am really grooving on this person, okay? I think, I think that Taurus, <laughs> Taurus Nation out there is, dare I say, falling for someone and trying not to overthink it. 
<laughs> it's good energy, y'all. It's good energy. I'm feeling a very good energy here. Near future, King of Swords. We have the Queen of Swords up here. I'm telling you. You could both have a lot of air on your charts. Or just maybe, you know, trying to be logical too. Not a bad thing. Just make sure you allow yourself to feel it. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. <laughs> oh, wow. 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 All right. Okay. I see you, spirit. Clarifying the king of swords in the near future. You know, trying to be logical. We have the moon, the world, and the queen of cups. Like, whoo. There's some deep love being built here. Deep. The moon is like deep emotion. Deep. Queen of Cups is one of the deepest emotional cards of the deck. Beyond, you know, in the form of how it's manifested. Ace of Cups is like, I'm not seeing the Ace of Cups, but I am seeing two Two of Cups and the Page of Cups and the Knight of Cups. So there's a lot of love here. Okay. And it's growing deeper and deeper and deeper. And I think you're in this brand new cycle. You're in a brand new cycle in your love life. And I see a beautiful balance of going deep in your heart and being logical as well. I feel like you're holding the perfect energy to be developing a very deep love bond. Or at least if you're not developing a new love bond, you're actually doing the work of both of you to heal the love bond and to bring it together and to go deep into unconditional love for one another. This is all about the journey of unconditional love and being seen by another person. Okay? And allowing yourself to enjoy it and not try to rule, be ruled by the fear. You've learned from the pain of heartbreak, okay? And you've grown wise from it. You are now in a position to start over in a new beginning. Some of you are transforming a connection beautifully, beautifully. Coming out of a stressful phase, a hiccup, if you will. Others of you are calling in, mm, mm, mm. joy, love, five of cups on the bottom. Let go of whatever you had to let go of. Let go of any recent loss. If you had to let go of somebody and then they're still lingering in your energy, spirit saying, keep doing that. Keep letting it go. That might be why things are a little bit like, it's like you're, you're in the final vestiges of letting go of someone who caused you pain whilst, whilst simultaneously calling in someone new who is so much better but it still doesn't mean you're not grieving okay I don't think you're jumping I think there's been a pause because there was a death and ending here and now you're ready to open up again all the hope and faith right moving through it five of swords Ooh, standing up for love Ooh, king of wands feeling the fire you have a very strong sensibility around what love should be Taurus what should it what it should feel like oh, you got someone coming after you oh my god Taurus I don't even think this is not even a combative energy here this is more like I want you <laughs> I must have you <laughs> be careful don't go too fast this might be you going cool your jets cool your jets okay we don't need to rush into this I do believe you've got somebody who is mad, mad courting you or will be. And what you don't see coming is the lovers and fire, <laughs> fire, fire, pants on fire. <laughs> and you're just like, wait a minute, <laughs> let's slow it down. Slow it down. Yeah, I'm telling you, Taurus, February, you're going to enjoy Valentine's this year. Wow. Wow, I needed this one. I needed to feel it, y'all. I'm, uh, I'm in the middle, I've been in the middle of uh, this last month of an unexpected breakup. Even tarot readers don't see it coming. I knew there were problems, but um, we were almost there. <laughs> you know, sometimes you get so close to what you think is the right fit, and then it all falls apart, and then you learn from it. And you may have had, I'm maybe bringing that up, I haven't really even told anyone um, at all on my channel that I'm going through a breakup. I think I mentioned a one sign that I was moving. I am moving out of the space. So um, I am in, moving into a new environment, a new house, and there will be a new setup in the near future. Um, let's get some advice from Spirit. So I'll get back to your, your reading here. 
But yeah, I, it's it's been beautiful to feel this because I'm like, oh, I remember what this feels like. You know what I mean? Love doesn't have to be all doom and gloom. You're in a really beautiful upswing in your love life. So enjoy it. I'm a hopeless romantic, so I mean, I, I try to be real. You know, don't overthink this. <laughs> yes, a queen of wands, I'm telling you. Don't overthink this. Okay, Taurus, try not to. Try not to overthink this. I think you have a lot of love with somebody. For those of you in a partnership already, you're working through some hiccups and things are really going to deepen and improve this month. You're gonna have a really fun February. Um, <laughs> there's, there's a lot more passion going on. I'll say that. All you Tauruses out there, enjoy it. You need to give me something to look forward to after I go through my healing phase. Thank you for this. It, it pretty much, it made my day because this is the opposite of where I've been. All right, let's see. What is going on here, Spirit? Give, give Taurus some advice for the month. Let's say keep going. Advice from Spirit. Yeah, you are in a brand new cycle, Taurus. Feels like a whole new world of possibilities, doesn't it? Queen of Swords, be wise. Ooh, Page of Wands in reverse. All right, so you might be you might be telling somebody, wait a minute, I'm not quite ready for you. You might be. The Page of Wands in reverse, it's the opposite of really making a plan and, and really letting someone in physically. So you may be just like, let me get to know you before we seal the deal. You might be actually getting to know someone right now who is marked by what could be very, very deep. You want to form that emotional connection before you take it to the physical level. But if you're wondering, are we going to go there? You're definitely going to go there. But I think Spirit is saying, hold off on the physicality because that might make things go too fast. Okay. Kind of hold back, really develop that emotional connection, form that bond of stability first, that foundation. Because if you jump in, I think that that does have a tendency to just take things way too fast. Good lesson for us all, right? If you meet someone, you're like, wow, and you're really turned on by them and you're really curious about them. Sorry if I'm, I'm triggering anyone. Um, take your time, okay? And you may be even withholding um, right now with your person so you can actually use more logic and um, have more discernment and having healthier boundaries. Some of you are coming out of a period of celibacy, okay? So you can open up to a new opportunity. All right, this has celibacy all over it. <laughs> so I think you're coming out of out of a dry spell. We'll put it that way for some of you. All right, enjoy it. Let's get some messages from the universe to finalize your reading. I think it's going to be a fun month. It's going to be a real fun month for you all. Okay. Messages from the universe. Two. All right, get my glasses. Focus on what is important to you. Don't give your time or energy to your worries as this would only amplify them. Focus on what matters most to you. With every thought, you are creating your future. If you are feeling stuck in any area of your life, whether it is in a relationship, a job, or just a situation, ask yourself, what is stopping me from leaving? Yes, leaving is scary, but sometimes it is the right step to take. Be brave. We are right beside you. I think that that basically what this is saying to me is that you have, you were stuck, all right? And I think that it was very scary, but you walked away, okay? Some of you were in the midst of walking away, and this is all going to happen, like a big change this month. There's a lot of people who are walking away from connections. Because you started out with the ending, walking into this, I think that you did go through a recent ending, all right, because you were stuck and you were scared. But now you're opening up into a new beginning, and Spirit is saying, don't worry, this is beautiful energy coming towards you and beautiful energy that you're going to be in. I think you're moving away from a situation and you're welcoming in a new situation in time, okay? This is what you don't see coming, okay? So take this month. You may be meeting this person later in the month, okay? Or deepening this connection later in the month because you're going through an ending, okay? And let what, hap what needs to happen happen, okay? Transform what you need to transform. But try not to worry, okay? Don't worry about the details in the middle, Keep sight, uh, keep clear of what your ultimate vision is. All these feelings that you felt watching this, keep a hold of those because there's a lot of beauty coming in for you, okay? And if you have been stuck, 
leave those if you're really trying to forgive your person really try to leave that in the past okay if you're really ready to forgive someone for the things that they did that hurt you you may have had an ending with this person before okay and you're trying to course correct and heal from the past so you can open up again to this person okay you may have been on pause and now you're trying to work through it but for the majority of you you have definitely ended a situation you have not transformed it you were done with it okay and you're moving on and you're opening up to a new opportunity okay so either way i think that you are you kind of put someone in the doghouse over here taurus and you said i need a minute all right i need to collect my thoughts okay so spirit is saying job well done you're in a brand new cycle and make sure you practice discernment and be careful who you give your body to okay all right take care